Happy Sunday, my friends. Well, it's Sunday morning, and I have probably been up for about 10 minutes or so. Mr. B is out washing my car, and um, I'm about to make us breakfast. I just wanted to come on and um, say hello to you guys. I wish you guys have a awesome Labor Day weekend. I did not make it on here on Friday. My nephew had a football game, and I had promised him that I was going to um, be there to support him. And so we were at the football game. It has been a long time, guys, since I've had a had that I've attended a high school football game and wow I didn't I don't remember them ending so late when we were younger it could have been me though they could have always ended that late but I didn't get home until about 11 o'clock I think it was over about 10 30 or so and it was about 45 minutes mm, yeah about 45 minutes away from me so but it was a good game. His school won, so that was awesome to see. And he was happy. And I got home, and Mr. B was waiting up for me. And we watched a little bit of um, some of the highlights from the game. I mean, from, um, yeah, a game or something that was on on Friday. And I fell asleep on the sofa. <laughs> yes, I was tired. So I did not get to come on here um, to, um, with you guys as I planned and I started to um, live chat while I was there but it was so loud and you guys wouldn't have enjoyed that but yes but I just wanted to stop in to say hello I have begun decorating around the house yesterday I went out for a little bit I bought a couple of things not a lot um, but I recorded a lot yesterday and so I have a ton of editing to do um, for the week and um, have you noticed I've been trying to put out a video some type of video every day uh, that, that's my goal now sometimes I may hit it sometimes I may not but if I I think if I plan it out properly that I should be able to get some kind of content out to you something that you're interested in that I think that you would be interested in anyway um, try to get something out you guys know I'm in my kitchen, so you know my lighting isn't the best in here. Only when I'm in, in a certain direction, I see. But yeah, so I am, um, hold on, I know it's kind of shaky. I'm trying to stabilize you guys. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I have begun to um, work on my fall tablescape. I put some things out. You guys are gonna be a little surprised at the direction that I'm going this year. You know I get bored really easily. And so um this year we'll have some traditional type colors in there, but um not a lot. You you you're gonna see. But it's coming together really nicely, Mr. B has commented on um, a couple of the areas that I have completed and um, he, he said it was talking about how nice they look and yeah I, I have to agree that it does look really really nice he has to go up to the attic I went up to the attic on Friday to pull down some of the things that I had um, up there because some of the things I am going to use differently or I am going to do a DIY on and um, I didn't realize how much stuff that I had so I think this year I might go to my mom's house and do a little bit of something to her house the only thing about that I'm just gonna do a little bit because the only thing about that guys I love putting things up but I, mean, I love putting things out I hate taking things down that's for Thanksgiving and Christmas and I mean for, for the fall and Christmas but um, this year I'm doing not as much as I've done in the previous year simply because I hate taking it down and um, but y you will be able to tell that you know fall has arrived here in the bees so 
Again, I'm about to make us some breakfast really quickly. And then um, I'm going back upstairs to the guest room area. And this was the weekend that I was supposed to work on Poodle's room. But, um, her room, it, it, it is a messed up, but she left things all kind of all over the place. And I've slowly begun to go in there and move things around. But I want to move her bed to a different place. Um, and her, her room is a really, really good size. It's a big room. Um, actually, all of my rooms are. But um, her room is a really great size room. And she has like several niches. For, and her, um, her um, closet is huge. But she left some clothes in her closet. Now I need to find out if those are some clothes that she wants. That she wants to stay here. Or those things that I need to give away. Because there, I think I gave some things away. Well, she gave some things away before she left. I think we did. I can't remember. I want to say we did or I was supposed to. Oh, you know what? Yes, I did. I gave some things to um, one of my co-workers' daughters. She, she Actually, she took majority of the stuff. Puda has a lot of shoes. And so, um, that's what we did. And, um, yeah. And so, today at home... My um, my goal, what what I wanted to do initially was to go and visit this church. But we woke up late just because we stayed up late, and um, I wanted to go visit this church because we're looking for a new church home. My pastor was in, in sort of a scandal like thing. And I, I just can't, not that I'm judging, but I don't agree with what he did. And, um, and, and the thing is, I really like how, what he teaches or whatever and, and how he teaches, but I don't feel like he, he can't teach me anything because he did not follow. And I know we're all man, 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 we are all human at the end of the day, but, um, things when it comes to adultery and infidelity I just can't do and so um yeah we were and especially when my 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 husband is sitting up there with me so to me I'm like it's saying if if I'm still following you I, I, I agree with what you you know what you've done or whatever and I may not and I don't so I am um so that's what I wanted to do today because we have not um, actually been to church in a year since all of that happened and everything else happened with it. And we had started hearing things and I'm like, nah, that's not true. But it was true. And so, yeah. So, we'll see. I guess since we didn't make it today, maybe we'll make it tomorrow. And it's not necessarily that I'm not following the man. I'm, it's, you know, it's his teachings. And if you're not doing what you what you're telling everybody else to do, how how can I listen to you? That's just how I just feel about it. And um, yeah, so that was that's what we wanted to do this morning. But we we are here, and um, yeah. So I just um, I'm gonna make us something really quickly quick to eat and I have my other projects on I'm up here I'm looking at QVC you know I love QVC on Saturdays QVC and um, I'm on Sunday QVC and the Food Network I, I watch that on on Sundays and, um, and as well as YouTube videos that's what I do I have um let me light this candle. I have officially lit my first candle of the season. Um, you guys follow me on Instagram. I showed you my leaves candle. And oh my, this candle, it does not take a lot for it to be lit very long. And you just begin to smell all the aromas all over. Oh my goodness, it, 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 is, it is my all-time favorite candle. I told you guys that. I think I tell you that every year. And when they bring them out, I get it. 
So I just lit my candle again. I have, um, my house is, it's not in disarray. If someone came over, I wouldn't be embarrassed because I could tell, they could see what I'm, I'm doing. And, um, but there are some areas that, um, because I have my fall stuff in one area and then I've started taking apart my, my table and um, starting to semi work on my my tablescape. Mr. B was like, "Say, it's September the second. Why are you doing your fall stuff? It's not even fall yet. I'm like, fall. It's fall here. And today is Puda's birthday, September the third. So she is 25 years old." She is uh, an amazing young lady, and she is enjoying her experience. Well, she's beginning to enjoy her experience over in, in the island that she's on. She This week, she will finally have her Wi-Fi, which is driving her crazy. So now she's been without Wi-Fi for, it'll be six weeks. So that has driven her crazy. She's taken so many video, um, videos over there. Um... And, you know, she's been using her phone, which is probably eating up a lot of her data. But she will be happier once she gets that. And so they will be there to install it this coming week. And, yes, but she's, she's enjoying her kids. And they're asking her to plan an American Halloween party. So she's doing that. She's played, taught them how to play Jeopardy. Um, yeah, she, she's doing a lot of things. So she's asked me to look for some things for the Halloween party um, that they're going to be having um, that they asked her to plan. So I'll be sending candy. So she was like, yes, yeah, send enough candy for all 34 of your kids because that's all. That's how many you have. So, yeah, really, 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 really good. So that's it guys. I just wanted to pop in here and say hello to you guys. I'm going to wash and condition my skin. I I mean my kit my skin, my hair. And I also have um another product that I requested. Um you guys, you know I'm like really really I'm a skin freak and I really I'm really um critical about skin especially mine and so there's this product that i saw that i was interested in i reached out to the company and they sent me some products and um i am still using the um mario brush Th that product is amazing and i think it's what well, it's for all skin types this other product is for um I think it's for all skin types as well, but I saw a celebrity who was talking about it and the celebrity had um, some troubled skin and um, I just wanted to see, not that my skin is troubled, I just got a little bit of hyperpigmentation here, just a tad bit and um, I can see it, it fading, um, but you know, I'm just all about skincare, you know, that's the, that's so important to me and be not that I'm trying not to age, but I want to um, preserve what I have. Um, you know, I wear moisturizers. I do sunscreens. I, I'm a real big proponent on sunscreens, even though you know people. You hear people say just because you have your of a deeper complexion and you have a lot of melanin, you don't need sunscreen. That is not true. You can still have sun damage. I clean my face all the time I you know I do mass today is my mass day and you know I just really really dig all of that stuff when I lived in LA I got facials often and um, I had like little I have little black heads or whatever um, well, I used to and I used to get all them extracted I should do extractions and I did all type of different things to my skin in LA but you know, L.A., the difference between L.A. and Atlanta, L.A. is a little, they're more um, advanced on when it comes to beauty and aging and things like that. So you were, I was exposed to a lot more there. 
And then by the time I got here, they was on to something else there. So it's a lot of things, you know, that I missed about that. And that was one of the things I missed about being there was being on the cutting edge of like technology and whatever. And why wouldn't it? Because they had a lot of celebrities who lived there and they get all these things done and then they make it available for the public. So yeah, but those are things that I normally do. There was a, um, a spa that I used to go to called Skin Essence in LA. Um, I'm not sure if it's still there. I used to go to the one that was in Inglewood and I would go there and um, like once a month to get some type of facial service. And, um, but then they put one here and I don't think the one here did very well. When I moved here, I went one time and it, it was different. It was totally different from my experience in LA. So I could tell the difference that that way, but that's because I had been to the original one in LA. And then, you know, I always go to like spa services. And if you ever get to go to LA and you want to experience, I mean, seriously experience a luxurious spa, go to, um, there I go. Can't freaking remember the, um, the name. I'm going to have to insert it. But they, they have several locations. It's going to come to me. Let me. Because I cannot think of the name right now. And I, they always send me things. It is. Um, I used to go to the one in Beverly Hills. They also have one in um, Pasadena. I like the one in Pasadena. It's really nice. Also, I like Pasadena. I like Beverly Hills. I had never gone to the one. And, um, hold on. I had never gone to the one in, um, <clears throat> Manhattan Beach. I passed that one all the time. Never had gone there. It is, um, let me see. What is the name of this? Um, let me see. Let me see. It is. Uh, I cannot believe. I cannot remember the name of this spa. You okay, Cookie? Cookie just flipped over, slipped. M Day Spa, not that one. Um, <clears throat> if I think of it. I am going to um, to put it down here. They send me things. Burke Williams. That's what it is. Burke Williams Day Spa. Why do I? It just came to me. Burke. Yes. Wait, they have one in Atlanta now? Wait a minute. Last updated August... They put a Burke Williams in Atlanta. Wait a minute. Let me see. It is Burke Williams. I don't see. Okay. Although this is not the Burke Williams that I'm used to. Instead of, oh, okay. So it's not the same one. Because someone said that um, this was their first time going. Yesterday was my first time at this location. I've gone once to the Brookhead location before. Although this is not the Burke Williams that I'm used to in Southern California. Yeah. It's, it's not the same. Oh, this is 2012. Oh, so this one says there's no locker room, sauna, jacuzzi, cucumbers for eyes, etc. It is still a great spa retreat. The Burke Williams in Southern California is excellent. You, I mean, you don't have to get a spa service. You can just come in there to relax in a jacuzzi and a sauna. You get your robe. You have your cucumbers. You have your for your eye treatments. You have your different cucumber waters and your lemon water, your detox waters, and. It, it, the, the experience is just amazing. They have the pool there. And you can get your service. You can stay there all day. And you can just, you know, rotate between the 
um, the spa and a sauna if you wanted to. We would generally go to the spa and get whatever I serve. We'd probably spend like three, four hours there, and then we would go out to dinner. It was such a great, a great, great, great experience. But yes, Burke Williams is the bomb. It is, it is so good. But I just wanted to come in, guys. I'm gonna let me go ahead and get this dinner started and share with you my Sunday at home. I'll probably do this maybe once a week. We'll see if I do it every Sunday. Um, if I can remember, if I show you what's happening with me today. But that's what's happening with me today. I am going to finish my projects, edit some videos, and um, work on my decor down here. So guys, I wish you guys have an awesome Sunday. Have an amazing Labor Day. And um, I wish you... Um, Peace and blessings for the um, rest of your upcoming week. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.